Salut à tous, de retour dans Contradiction, donc la suite tant attendue, je sais que vous l'attendez tous, mais moi aussi j'attendais. Donc on en était à l'ordinateur volé de Simon, donc Simon nous a dit qu'il avait perdu son ordinateur, qu'on lui avait volé, et donc Ryan lui avait répondu, nous avait dit, l'ordinateur était volé dans le stock, le stock n'est pas particulièrement sécurisé, conseil des élèves de conserver leur objet de valeur. Ça m'a fait penser que son père, Paul, avait volé des objets. Mais d'abord, on va aller poser la question de l'ordinateur volé à Emma. Pour voir ce qu'elle ce qu sait. Parce que je n'avais pas posé la question. Ask about a few more things, please. Alors, ordinateur volé. Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Yeah, because it had all my college work on it. Which I hadn't backed up or saved. Uh, not that it mattered much, but uh, I did buy a new one. And Simon uses it now. When I let him. Wow, tout ça pour ça. Utiliser l'ordinateur à l'université, acheter un nouvel ordinateur. Euh, bah ok. Est-ce qu'il y a des... Des contradictions Non, je pense pas. Be ouais. back later on, if that's ok. Hop, on va y avoir Polo. La vie Paul. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Alors, Polo les ordi. And what do you know about Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? I know I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price that it would probably have cost. Seemed to do the trick, though. We haven't had a theft since. N'était pas content pour le vol, installer un système de vidéosurveillance depuis, pas de vol depuis. D'accord. Ah, c'est vrai que tu nous as parlé d'une du, espèce de gardien là. Bah non, bah tu sais, il n'a jamais entendu parler de cet informaticien. Non, c'est pas ça. Pas de vol depuis. Bon, attends. Toi, tes vols, t'as volé aussi, mon gars. Euh... Ah, attends, c'était où Oh là là. Euh, euh, euh. Ah merde, c'était où euh. Il a commis un vol factice qu'il a filmé. Non, non, c'est pas ça. Bon bah écoute, euh, ouais. Thank you. Probably be back later. Je vais voir si aurait pas hein. une petite scène à trouver. Ok, en fait la contradiction était à trouver chez Rebecca. Donc là je suis avec Rebecca, donc la la patronne du, du saloon là. En disant on ne prend pas de dog ou de médicaments. Et quand elle dit les prescriptions de Rebecca, on tient des calmants sous ordonnance. Hop. Ah. So, you don't take any medicines except for prescription painkillers. Well, they're not actually for me, they're Ryan's. Um, for some reason, the chemist always makes them out to my name. He's a... an old gentleman. Does Ryan need prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really? He's young to suffer from that, isn't he? He doesn't have it badly, but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is it? I can't tell you to be honest. Ryan will know. So Ryan's the one using the prescriptions. I think I might have a word with him. Work out exactly what this medicine is. Je vais dire, je vais demander à Ryan quel type de médicament il prend. Moi, je pense que c'est du Viagra. À force de boire, hein, l'arthrite de Ryan. Sur Rebecca, Ryan aura apparemment de l'arthrite. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Ah, mon Ryan, sûr là, tu me déçois. Bon, Ryan, il est costaud, il peut il peut t'enfiler. Allez, 10 verres de whisky dans l'heure. Au calme, comme ça. Ah, Ryan, de l'arthrite. Ah, c'est chiant là. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Alors, on a de l'arthrite, Ryan. Tell me about your arthritis. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes. I'm old before my time. 
just very unlucky to have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector. And sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem. Uh, makes it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often, as and when, as and when. I keep some here, I keep some at home. It's not a problem. A de l'arthrite dans les mains, on est calmement sous ordonnance pour son arthrite, conserve des calmants au travail et chez lui. L'arthrite n'est pas... Ah Conserve des calmants au travail et chez lui. Je crois qu'il avait dit qu'il n'y avait ni drogue ni alcool à euh, Atlas. Oh putain, par contre, à chaque fois, il faut tout retaper les trucs. Donc, il y a un effet interdit à la drogue et à l'alcool au sein d'Atlas. Ne conserve pas de médicaments chez Atlas. Voilà. Putain, c'est rapide. Ah bah oui. So, you don't so. keep any medicines on site at Atlas. No. Except your prescription painkillers. Well, these are not available to the students. But they are kept on site. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. And what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> painkillers. Uh, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. Paracetamol. Codeine. Morphine. Well, all right. They're morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? Oh, come on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them or where they were. Sure about that? Yes. Oh, bah, la suite est simple. So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. Putain, je, je sais absolument pas ce qu'il a dit. Il a un accent trop british pour moi. Voilà, donc concert de la morphine d'une bien sécurisée Atlas. Mais elle a dit qu'en fait ce n'est pas assez sécurisé. Puisque l'ordinateur de Simon était volé. C'est pas compliqué en fait. Et voilà, mais c'est la fête. So the storeroom isn't particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. I keep them in there. Okay. So where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination lock on it. Nobody could have access to it except me and Dad. Nobody. I might have a look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. A combination locked room, I see. Well, I might have a look around for that. See how secure and combination locked it really is. A digicode, je vois. Mais après, j'ai pas suivi, désolé. Je suis déçu, Ryan appelle son papa Dad. Il peut pas appeler Daddy Thank you. Probably be back later. Thank you. On va aller faire un petit tour. On va aller enquêter. Oh cool, je peux aller à l'étage. Oh il court Jinx. Ouais, 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 hop, hop, hop. Cours Jinx, cours. Jinx, gump. Ah, j'ai pas le code. Euh... Oh putain, la faute jeu. Hmm. Je vais aller voir son papounet, je pense. Putain, c'est la loose en fait. Ah, je pense que c'est son père Calcone, parce qu'il est que celui et puis son papounet. Sauf s'il faut que je lui repose une question. Non, je pense pas. Putain, la faut jouer quand même. Je me... Ask you a couple more things, please. Ah non, il y a plus de Thank you. Probably be back later. Non, il va peut-être se passer une scène. Je pense que ça va être ça. Si j'entre ici, je vais voir. Ah, je peux aller à la télévision. Ça me refait la même connerie ou quoi ouais, C'est bon, j'ai déjà vu. Free to be free. On a tout vide, c'est juré, juré. 
et toujours se partager oh yeah, pour la première fois. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Did you know about Ryan's arthritis? Ryan? He's got arthritis? Apparently. No, I didn't know. I hadn't noticed he had any problems. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Did you know about Ryan Round's arthritis? Arthritis? I didn't think Ryan had arthritis. Be back later on if that's okay. Daddy. Ask about a few more things, please. When did Ryan begin to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Really? The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability to deal with any kind of discomfort. He pulled his back sometime last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. I thought he had medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost <laughs> as dysfunctional as he is, keeps prescribing it for him. So you don't believe he really has arthritis? Not at all. Ne crois pas que rien n'est de l'arthrite, rien d'une faible résistance à la douleur, rien de fait mal au dos l'année dernière. Le médecin continue de prescrire des médicaments. Et moi, je voulais le code, en fait. Thank you. Probably be back later. Tu veux pas me filer le code Le codec. Non, peut-être. Ici. Euh... Non, non, pas là. On va voir. Moi, je pense qu'ils sont fous de ne sortir que l'hôtel d'Arthrite. On va tester. C'est toujours un bonheur de revoir. James. Le mec le plus cool de Twin Peaks. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Oh Quelle surprise Il en a rien à péter. Ah, uh, that's it for the time being, thank you. Bon, bah, il faut que je leur pose des questions, hein. je sais pas qui. Euh... Sûrement à Paul, je vais regarder pour Paul. Ok, après mon quart d'heure, j'ai compris comment il fallait. Procédé, il suffisait en fait d'utiliser la carte euh, la carte de visite là. Que si moi fait tomber de sa poche en rentrant chez lui. Donc la carte de euh, la carte du de l'informaticien pour pénétrer en fait dans. Oh putain le truc Ah oh, mais non. Ah non ça va. Pour entrer dans le. dans la zone. Donc c'est un code marqué dessus. Vous vous rappelez Welcome to the mirror room. Okay. This exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self, which lies deep in our unconscious. As you move through the network of mirrors, practice seeing yourself as a stranger. The more you separate from your persona, the more aware you will become of your true desires and ambitions. Chant with us. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. This exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed module one. Module two covers boundary testing, threshold testing, and extreme testing. Please read the notes carefully before attempting the module. Putain, c'est quoi cet endroit? Attends, c'est pas une salle de stockage, ça. Je suis désolé de vous le dire. La chambre au miroir, une pièce protégée par un digicode chez Atlas contenant un labyrinthe de miroirs. Pourquoi Ryan il m'a laissé y aller 
Non en fait il a dû m'envoyer dans un point de stockage mais en fait j'étais dans le truc au miroir j'avais pas le droit je pense Ah oh, putain c'est quoi ce bordel Composé de code d'accès Oh je peux y retourner D'accord Et alors pour en parler avec notre ami Ryan Qu'est-ce que la chambre au miroir Ryan A few more questions if you don't mind Can you tell me what you know about the mirror room upstairs? Oh, you found that then. Hmm. Well, it's very similar to the costumes, Inspector. It's designed to help the students look at themselves differently. And what do you do with the mirrors? You look at yourself, Inspector. You look at yourself until you start seeing yourself as, as others do. And you don't see yourself as, as you do anymore. It, it really... The idea is that you can see yourself eventually any way you wish. So why in a locked room? To make sure you're not distracted, that's all. How often is it used? Not often. A few times a month. Some students find it useful. Some don't. La chambre au miroir est utilisée par les élèves. La chambre au miroir est fermée pour ne pas danger les élèves. La chambre au miroir est utilisée quelques fois par mois. Ok, j'ai l'impression qu'il était complètement bourré là. Thank you, probably be back later. On va voir ce qu'on pense mon ami Simon. On se l'aurait ami au monde. Or Simon, la salle au miroir. Ah oh oui, la salle au miroir, mais oui. Uh, a few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Yeah. Useful. Well, it's mainly for the auto hypnosis module. Uh, you go in and you stare into the mirror and you go into a trance. Then, when you're ready, you come back out. So, you just go in whenever you want to? Uh, no, um, there's certain times when you're allowed in, and uh, only they know the combinations anyway, so you can't really get in. You don't know the combination? No. That's what you Puisque le truc est tombé de sa poche. Donc elle voit le code de la chambre au miroir. Eh, la carte de visite elle vient de ta poche. Ah ah, ah alors mon Simon, on lui manque So bon. you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror room. No. Except you've written it down, hadn't you? This is the combination to the mirror room, Simon, that you wrote. It isn't a pin, it's a combination. Yeah. You see, this sort of thing makes me suspicious, Simon. What were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone, including me, to find out? It's just part of the course, isn't it? I just, I just wanted to go in there when I was ready. On your own? You didn't give a number to anyone else? No. Simon. There was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part in Kate Vine's death. Did Kate have the number? Yes, okay. Uh, we both went in. Together? We were trying to outdo each other. We, we both tried to morph it. What do you mean trying to outdo each other? It's part of the course. To see how far you can push yourself. To see... If you could do something you wouldn't normally do. When was this? A few months ago. How often did you try it? Only that once. I'd never do it again. How about Kate? I don't know. Sorry. So that's how Kate got the morphine. But what exactly does this testing involve? Could this have been what killed Kate? Eleven o'clock. Just an hour left to solve this thing. Eh bien. Mais écoutez, on va s'arrêter là. Et ben, on progresse, on progresse. Hein. De la morphine, un test. Je ne sais plus si c'est la. Ah, c'est bon. Je ne sais plus si c'est la dernière heure, mais en tout cas. On va s'arrêter une fois. Merci d'avoir regardé. Vous tous. Mon ami Simon qui m'a menti. Encore une nouvelle fois, me laisse le cœur brisé.